Hello guys, this is Angel from Data Losers, and on this video today we will be looking at how to create QuickSight groups uh, using AWS CLI. Uh, the first step, of course, is if you don't have it yet in your computer, is just going to the AWS uh, you know website and download it and install it in your computer. This is a pretty straightforward uh, you know uh, uh, um, process. You just have to you know download it to your local computer and just click you know, those kind of next 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 uh, installation. Um, in Windows, so once you do that, you just have to go and open a, a command prompt. So when you open your command prompt, uh, you can either use uh, as an administrator or as a regular user. But when you open a command prompt, you will have to check. Uh, I mean, you would like to check if you actually had your AWS uh, CLI installed in your computer or not. To do so, you just have to type AWS version. And it will tell you if you have it installed, right? It will tell you the version that you have and, and the place and so on where the where the where the CLI is installed. So now that we have it installed here, um, I would like to um, configure that CLI to use that username and password that we just create uh, in in AWS. I mean that secret key and and um, and, and user ID. So we can we can actually start using the CLI uh, against our AWS account. To do so, we just have to click AWS configure, and also asking you asking us for uh, the access keys. As for right now, I already have an access key here uh, in place for a previous user and previous implementation that I have. Um, you can see how you know he showed me just the, the last four uh, digits of that access key. Uh, if I want to replace that access key, I just have to type the one, the new one, the one that I just have, right, which is this one over here. I will go ahead and do so. So this is my access key. The next step, it will ask me for the secret access key. And remember, this secret access key, it will show you just one time. Uh, you have to make sure that you copy, don't close this window, don't, don't hit and close before you actually download this document or uh, you know copy the secret uh, access key so I'll go ahead and do that I'll copy my access key and then next thing it will ask me is for the uh, default region right so I already have my default region in the US is one um, I don't know where you are in the world but uh, uh, just look at your region where you are and place the, the, the correct one uh, here in this in this uh, uh, section, I'm just gonna leave it by default because that's the region that I need for right now. So this default uh, output format, you can leave it in blank. This is optional. You probably don't, don't gonna need it right now. So just go ahead and, and leave it in blank. So that's it. So I have my my CLI configured to use that new user that I create, that new AMI user that, that we create with my um, AWS account. So next step now is to connect to QuickSight from the CLI, right? So so to do so, we just have to invoke the QuickSight uh, APIs, right? So let's just type AWS QuickSight. And let's just take a look at, at, the, at the thing that we can do with AWS QuickSight. So if you just type help here, we'll see all the commands, right, that we can execute using this QuickSight API, right? These are all the API calls that we can do against QuickSight using the CLI. So you can see describe user, get dashboard embedded, describe yes, a lot of those, right? So list template, list user group, and so on. So a lot of a lot of API commands that we can do, that we can do. What we need right now is just to uh, create groups, right? Basically, we would like to create um, a new group in QuickSight to start adding our users to that particular group. Actually, we'll be creating like a two or three of those uh, of those groups. So let's just find for uh, something like create group. For example, we see delete group. Okay, so right here, right? So we have the create group API called over here. So we are seeing how, how it gets described. So let's just go ahead and do so. And let's just type AWS QuickSign. Create group. So right now we don't know what else we have to add, right? So so how do you know, um, you know, without actually reading the, the documentation, uh, you know, what else you need to add in that create group? The good thing is that if you just click enter, right? AWS will tell you, hey, you know, we are missing some uh, some parameters um, and arguments on your create group, and it will tell you 
which are those that you are missing, right? So now we know that we are missing the group name, right? The AWS account ID and the namespace. So that's great. So let's just go ahead and do so. So let's just have then uh, our AWS quick site, create group, then let's just add a group name. Our group name will be, um, let's say, um, Americas, for example, that's gonna be our first group name. And then we just have to add the AWS account ID. If you don't know your account ID, this is pretty easy to find. You just have to go either to your AWS uh, implementation or your QuickSight right, implementation. So uh, under when it says uh, username, if you are a root user, you will see your account and, uh, ID. To avoid confusions, I recommend you to go to your uh, AWS and go to your My Account, uh, and you will see there a number, which is your um, account um, ID. So you have just have to copy that account ID, paste it over here, and the next step is just adding the namespace. So namespace in QuickSight are like a section, right? Like the QuickSight section. So I just gonna leave it by default, right? Uh, because we don't have any other uh, uh, namespace. We, we don't wanna go through it in this uh, in these tutorials. Um, but default would be more than enough for us to play. You can have multiple users, multiple um, groups in that namespace. We're gonna touch a little bit more in deep on the on the next coming videos. But as for right now, since we don't have any any different namespace, we're just gonna use the default one. And that's it. It's just gonna review our 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 command over here. So we are just telling, hey, AWS QuickSight, create group. We are passing the group name. We are passing the um, account ID, and we are passing the namespace. So let's just take a look to see if we are missing something. So that's it. So we hit enter, and our group is have been uh, created. So we can see that you know the, the the ARN of our group, you know the partition ID, and so on. So we can now go ahead and start creating some more groups. I mean, this is it's pretty easy and, and straightforward because since you already have uh, the command here, you just have to, you know, to, to repeat the process and just put any other uh, you know, group that you want. So America, Europe, for example. That's it, we have uh, uh, Europe created here as a group. And that's pretty much it. So it's pretty, it's pretty straightforward um, process that you can that you can take to create any groups you like. Right? You can change the name of a group after you create it. Right? And let's just just for for matter of the train, let's just add a global group here. Right? To to add, to have more fun on this. So just global. Right? And that's it. So that's it. So we have our groups created. Of course, we don't have any user then uh, um, on those groups, but uh, we already have a user on the on QuickSight, right? So we have a user uh, in QuickSight already, and we would like to add that user to one of these groups, right? Uh, so to do so, we just have to check which is the actual uh, user uh, create API code. So since we don't know it yet, we just have to go to AWS, QuickSight, Help again, right? And let's just find for uh, create. Um, I mean, to add user to a group or something like that. So we have it here. So we are seeing delete group membership. Let's just find something like create group membership right here, right? So create group membership. That's what we're looking at. So we're looking to create a membership to our groups. So let's just then go ahead and says, hey, AWS QuickSight. membership right same thing we don't know how you know which are the parameters that have to be sent uh, passed through this uh, API call so let's just click on on enter and it will I will tell you hey you're missing some argument here so the arguments are member names group names AWS account and namespace right so of course so let's just go ahead and okay you know why so the member name will be and that will be uh, your username so you have to go to quick say ship which is your the username that you have there right if you add some someone by email probably the e their email address will be the username 
and that will be your, your member name. Remember, you don't have to put any quotes on that member name or anything, just type it as it is. In my case, I will put the email that I had as my user, uh, the one that I created in QuickSight. So the next thing is the group name, right? So I would like to add this particular user to a particular group, right? So let's just go ahead then and it says group name. Then it will be well. Let's just add this user to the um, to the Americas one, right? Americas, right? That's my group. And then of course I have to add the AWS account. Which which again we have to get it from here. Just type it twice. And our namespace, which is the default one. Okay, so that's it. So let's just review what we, we just typed here. So we have an AWS QuickSight and then create group membership, which is the API call that we'll be doing against QuickSight. Then the member name, right, uh, which is your username, the group name that will you would like that user to be part of. Uh, and then, of course, the account ID and the, uh, and the namespace. So we're going to hit enter. And that's it. So we have a status 200, which is a, which is a, a, you know, um, a successful uh, a status, uh, where that particular uh, member name is part of the group, um, you know, Americas, as we as we wish. So this is pretty much it, right? So you can repeat this and just put whatever member names you would like to whatever group that you would like to add in the in the future. So that's this is it for this video. I hope you you understood everything. Please leave your comments um, on the comment section. Thank you.